The next coinery auction, in fact the second instalment, uh, is 13th of June. 13th of June 2021, online, and it's likely to be a really good coin auction, so don't miss it. Hey guys, it is Nima Stacker and it's a brand new month and with a brand new month comes a brand new code word, Anton, for the Coin Connection website to get 2% off. What I want to talk about today is books and information. So if you are a collector of British coins, then there is one book that you absolutely need to have and that is Spink's Coins of England. It's the Bible. It's now in two volumes, one for decimals and one for older coins. And really, that's the first port of call. So even if you don't have any British coins and you want to think about adding some to your collection, in America, you've got the the Big Red Guide, the Mega Guide, some great um, guides to American coins. And this book here, The Coins of England, is very much in the same vein and uh, and is very, very valuable. If you are collecting sovereigns, as a lot of people over here on this side of the pond do, then you will want another guide to sovereigns. There's a brand new one out called the Gold Sovereign Series, and where it started was quite a while ago with this book here, The Gold Sovereign. Uh, Michael Marsh, uh, who died, unfortunately, in 2006, was the original editor and collator and author of this book. This uh, was originally a two-volume book. Uh, it was uh, one for sovereigns and one from half-sovereigns. And the idea behind this book is it went through every single variety and date of every type of all the mints to determine rarity and looked at just how often those kind of coins for that particular date and rarity showed up. Uh, when reviewing piles of sovereigns. Then, Token Publishing uh, got together with Steve Hill, who is one of the leading catalogers and numismatists at Sovereign Rarities, and got together to create a bigger book containing more information, updates on rarities, uh, a, lot of, a lot of more modern coins. And this book brought together the Half Sovereign and the Sovereign books into one volume. What has just been published is an even bigger and better and lovelier book in every respect, uh, which updates that. It, it comes with a new price guide. Every book, every edition will have a new price guide updating Sovereign prices, and Sovereigns have proved to be very popular. Uh, this book adds to the, uh, the information that was there in the previous book, uh, and, and it's all updated on both Sovereigns and the Half Sovereign series as well. But it also adds uh, two or three other things which have been uh, missing up to now and which are uh, very, very much needed. That a lot of people who collect Sovereigns also collect five Sovereign pieces and two Sovereign pieces. And there hasn't really been a guidebook to either of those series up to now. So as well as giving you the, uh, the historical perspective and all the information about the sovereign and half sovereign. This book also traces the five sovereign uh, gold piece. Five sovereigns are probably more widely collected now as a genre than ever before. And it goes through some of the more interesting ones, some rarities that probably you and I are likely to never see. Um, you know, for example, the one that was in the coronation set for uh, 1953, and ones that uh, possibly may end up in our collection if we are so lucky, and, uh, and they prove relatively affordable, although a lot of them, of course, are very expensive. So you've got all the information about the five sovereign series, then you've got all the information about the two sovereign series, and it really just completes it off. So f five, two one half and i think there's also some stuff in here at the back about the quarter sovereign series that's been around since 2009 
One of the things that I found interesting about this book is it also includes information on the um, Indian Sovereign series, which a lot of people collect, and also the Strike on the Day Sovereign series, the Celebration Sovereigns. And it shows some interesting things. For example, the 2018 Sapphire Jubilee Sovereign, uh, the actual sales on that were very, very small. Uh, there's only, I think, you know, maybe 300-odd coins that were actually sold for that. So that's going to be one of the rarities to look out for in the series. So one of the things that I've learned really is information is all important. It is pretty much everything. And uh, if you're thinking about collecting sovereigns or British coins, then add these books to your library before you even start. It will save you a lot of money, time and aggravation and it'll give you the power and the information that you need. So I hope you like that little kind of book overview or review. If you did, then please give this video a like. Uh, click on the notify if you want to be notified of new Numistaka videos when they come out.